Okay, so today we want to talk a little bit about a quick lesson here and how to take active campaign and create segments from your contacts. This should be pretty quick and it's also pretty powerful because if you've got a way to segment your lists, you can target specific messages to specific contacts. So um, there's several ways to do this. Um, actually, there's more than just a couple ways. I'm going to show you um, first of all the direct way of doing that so I've got my active campaign a kind of a test account here that I'm going on and uh, what we're going to do is just try to drop into the list menu here at the top because segments are a subset of a list so we'll go to lists and then um, well, what you want to do is look over here on the right side of all of the lists that you have and um, just take the drop down and click it and when you click that drop down you'll see a number of different options that you have there but one of the options is segments so if you click on segments it brings up this little uh, pop-up or little menu area and what this is is it shows you first of all the existing segments that you have so I have an existing segment here and I have a segment here that I've already created I'm going to do a new segment and I'm going to give this segment a name and I'm going to call it um, contacts with name an and there's a reason why I'm doing this uh, and that is that I already have a tag that I previously had assigned to contacts and in that tag uh, the rules for that tag is I said hey anybody who has the uh, the letters an in their name so I already created that tag and, and put them in there. So I'm going to create this segment right now. And it drops in, uh, creates the segment. And now I, I have my options. So I have the name, which again, I could re-edit that. And then I can pick the list. So I'm just going to do this WSS test here. Um, then I have the option to do a condition. So I'll drop this down. And in this case, I'm going to go to contact details because I know what I want to do is look for a tag and I'll come down here to tag and of course you could pick any of these uh, fields that you have but I'm going to do uh, tag and I'm going to say if the tag exists and what tag do I want I want this tag right here names with a n so that creates my uh, condition and you also have the ability to add another condition here just by checking this field so I could say tag exists names with a n and I could select another contact detail and I could say last name is not um, I'll just say my last name sash okay so then it would pick out everything everybody who's got the tag existing a n but they do not have the last name of sash well I'm gonna remove that condition right there so that's there you can also add a new segment group in here which would combine this segment and this one down here um, which is a little, maybe we could do another training session on that to uh, do some more advanced segmentation but I'll just go ahead and save this so now after this is finished saving I'm gonna have a new segment out there that I can use in various places so for instance if I go to campaigns and I create a new campaign I can just do new campaign here and it's gonna go through all of my setup for it I'll just do this one for that then we go next okay so then it comes up and asks you for your list so I'm just gonna go ahead and select this test list right here and then you have the option to select a segment so I can select my segment and here is that segment that I just created contacts with name an so there we go we've got um, this segment of this list that I can automatically use now another way is that you can create a segment while you are creating your campaign so let's say I'm starting this campaign 
I don't have a segment. I can create new right here. It's dropped me into my conditions and I can give a segment. Um, this is the name of the email. So it just comes up and says segment of test to name e A N. And if you remember right, test to A N was the name of the campaign that I started out with. So in this case, I'm going to create a new segment. And in this segment, I'm going to say contacts with name not A N. All right. And then I'll add my first condition. And the condition I'm going to say, again, is I'm going to go to the tag. I could go up here to contact details. I also I'll just have quick access right here. And in this case, I'm going to say the tag does not exist. And then the tag I'm going to pick is names with AN. And then I can save that segment. So now you can see it changed the segment to contact with names not AN and that's what's going to happen on this message now is now instead of sending a message to everybody that does have the tag AN now I'm sending segmented it out and I'm creating the segment and sending to the segment that do not have a n and we created that segment right here so i'm going to go ahead and save and exit here and then what we're going to do is do it just to validate this and verify this we're going to jump back over to lists and now that we're in our lists up here on the menu and if i drop over to here i can drop this down and go to segments and when we go to segments, notice what we had. When we first here, we had this segment and this segment. Then right on this screen, we created this segment called contacts with name AN. Again, that's the those that do have the tag AN. And then on the fly, when we were creating our campaign, we created another segment and we saved it as contacts with name not AN. So these segments now are created. They're here visible in the the list and you can use these segments wherever you would like. So hopefully that is a, a good uh, explanation of how to add segments. If you have any questions, just go ahead and drop into the Entre Tools Facebook Q&A group and uh, drop me some questions and we'll see if we can get them answered for you.